All right, it's a pleasure to have with me here another one of the esteemed speakers in the 2019 uh, Emerging Future Group Dentistry Summit coming up here in June in Phoenix. Uh, Dr. Bayramian uh, is a doctor in the Arizona area who has extensive, extensive experience in group dentistry, but has some really innovative things going on. So Dr. Dr. Bayramian, thank you for joining us. And uh, maybe you can tell the folks listening, um, you know, a little bit about yourself and what you have going on as it pertains to kind of where dentistry is going. Okay, thank you, Jake. Thank you for inviting me to this interview. Um, we have a, a multi-specialty, uh, multi-network group here in the Phoenix area. We see all aspects, all phases of general dentistry um, alongside of specialty dentistry, endodontics, oral surgery, orthodontics, uh, and the middle ground of what we consider the medical to the dental shift. So for us, that means uh, we do a lot of sleep medicine and a lot of temporal mandibular uh, disorder treatments. Um, we have recently crossed the road or crossed the path or crossed into the other side of, um, uh, of care and we have in incorporated medical, uh, a medical treatment within our dental faci facilities. So what that means is that we brought in primary care and we see patients side by side within one clinic um, within the same day even. Um, so our primary care consists of basically all phases of primary care, you know, children's care, women's care, urgent care, and even some cosmetics. Unbelievably exciting uh, stuff you're working on and you're absolutely on the forefront of the medical and dental integration, which I think is on the minds of a lot of people at least the back of the minds, and I think it's moving to the front of the minds of people. So, um, very, very excited. I think this is one of the first time going to be one of the first times that something like this is discussed in a large format. And I do think you guys are in the absolute forefront. So, uh, what do you have um, on your mind as far as the future of of dentistry and where this is all going? And where do you see the medical and dental integration going in the next three, five, ten years? Uh, we believe, obviously, that this is the future of uh, primary care. We believe dentistry is part of primary care, and we can help reduce chronic disease and chronic inflammation in, within our patient population by delivering um, both integrated services within uh, one visit. So our goal, our ultimate goal, is to close patient care gaps and to help make the population healthier. Very simple. All right, so you being out there in the, in the in, like I said, in the forefront of what this is, uh, where this is going and what it's doing, you're talking to physicians, you're talking to that world probably on a daily basis. And you have what I think is a pretty incredible vision for not just dentistry, but the, where dentists are going. Maybe you can talk to, about uh, the way you see the dental profession going, how they need to actually think about going into the medical arena and how those things work together. Right, we believe that dentists can act as oral physicians, and we are oral physicians. Um, we can provide uh, preventative primary care services chairside, including screening of private uh, chronic diseases such as high blood pressure, diabetes, obesity. Um, we can help in the patient's overall health by reducing stress and smoking. Uh, we can be in the forefront of delivering health care, just as our physician partners do. So you see uh, even the dentist potentially uh, being referred to as an oral, an oral physician in the future or some really close integration between those two kind of titles even. Correct. Yeah. I mean, the Journal of Family Medicine and Primary Care, I was just looking at it, um, refers to us as oral physicians. We were, we were trained as oral physicians. This is, this is what we were taught back in dental school. Why not practice the whole scope of what we know how to do? And what do you think uh, is important as far as mindset for dentists to have as this kind of convergence happens? Um, our mindset needs to be, uh, we need to be proud of how much time we have with these patients. We, we need to understand that our, our 45 minutes with each dental patient that we get in our hygiene department can be an unrecognized touch point in the overall care gap of these patients. So <clears throat> we, can create, we can create value for these patients to improve their oral health, improve, improve their systemic health, change their habits, like no other practitioner is able to. We have relationships that no other practitioner possesses. We have intimate, personal relationships with these patients. So 
so we can help them achieve a greater level of health than they even imagined they could. Is there, in your, in your passion is amazing and it, it really shines through on this. Is there anything else you would tell um, a dentist that uh, is interested in this and probably maybe shares the vision that you share? Um, anything else you would tell the audience? Like yes, collab you know, collaborate with your physician colleagues. They don't understand what we can do to help them. And when they understand how we can be of help in, in terms of their patient care, in terms of their care gaps, when they understand how easy it is to work with our profession, we can finally go to the next level of integration. Extremely innovative. Um, and, and like I said, I think there's a whole lot of people out there very interested in what you're doing. So you're set to speak at the summit this year. Um, yeah. I guess any, any thoughts for the folks in the audience? Maybe folks yeah. who are on, on the fence for attending? Um, yeah. What would you say? You know, our, our speech is going to um, basically talk about our model, talk about how the integration works, and talk about the why behind, you know, Talk about the why behind why the vision and the goals and the patient care. Uh, we'll bring in many patient testimonials, testimonials. We'll bring in before and afters. Um, we'll bring in a lot of the medicine tied to this, a lot of the um, medical um, research out there and just the medical treatment out there. So it, it, it's going to be both. There's going to be a functional part, a medical part, a um, business aspect to it. I mean, we do everything, right? So, Absolutely. And, and this is in the kind of group context as well, because you have uh, a, a purely dental group as well that you're kind of working in, in, in conjunction. So you have a whole lot going on. And if you're interested in seeing where the future of medical and dental are merging and integrating and where this is all going, uh, come to the 2019 summit, the DEO summit, and see Dr. Uh, Bayramian is talk about her model and, and where things are going. Thank you Thanks. so much. Extremely Thanks. excited. Thank you, Jake. I appreciate it. Right, talk to you soon. We'll see you. Bye-bye.